Good afternoon, everyone. This is the NBA on TNT. I am your host, Sam Rudofsky, joined today by Ben Goldman on my left and Jack Waterstreet on my right. The NBA season, offseason really, is just heating up right now with trade talks circling around Damian Lillard. We'll start with you, Jack. Where do you think is the most ideal position for him to be headed in the 2023 season? I really see Damian Lillard go to Miami. I mean, I feel like him and Jimmy Butler and Bam can be a good combo, but I mean, the thing is, Miami probably give us some picks, maybe Tyler Hero, who knows, but I really feel like he really fit in well with that offense. How about you? I agree with Miami, but I don't think they have the assets to get Damian Lillard straight up. I think it's going to have to be a three-team trade. I also think other teams might be scared off by Damian Lillard maybe not wanting to go there. You know, he specifically requested to go to Miami. Is there a certain third team that you could see being involved in that trade, and what other assets could potentially be involved in trading for Damian Lillard? I'll go to you first, Ben. I can see the 76ers because they want to move James Harden off their books. Um, yeah, that's probably the top candidate right now for a three-team trade with the Heat. I, mean, I could definitely see the Sixers as well. But the thing is, you have to see, does James Harden want to go into Miami or does he want to go somewhere else involved in the third team? And oh, oh, this is brand new. We have been get, speaking of the devil. James Harden has just been traded to the Charlotte Hornets. I did not see this happening. I just don't understand how James Harden would want to go to a small market like Charlotte. Yeah, I don't know if it was his decision, really. I mean, and especially see that Damian Lillard isn't involved in that trade. That could very well deal a hit to his chances to go to Miami. But that Charlotte Hornets backcourt is going to be very strong in the future. Yeah. Maybe a title push this season I could even see happening. What do you think about that, Ben? I think I need to know the details because I don't really see how this works out salary-wise without trading LaMelo Ball. Uh, you don't really have any big – actually, you do have Gordon Hayward. So it, it could work out salary-wise, but I think the Sixers might be giving up too much for what they're getting back. Wait, and I have one more thing to add. I got to know, is Brandon Miller involved in this trade in any way? Because I don't understand what the Sixers would want back. I've been confirmed that Brandon Miller has been traded – to the Philadelphia 76ers. That is that's very crazy. That has just come in. Brandon Miller is headed to Philadelphia, a person hated by his own city. After Michael Jordan, with his parting gift, selected Brandon Miller over Scoot Henderson. Everyone's seen the videos of them booing, and now he is headed over to the East Coast, up the East Coast to Philadelphia now, and potentially to deliver them a ring in the coming years. Last thoughts on that, Ben? I, I like this trade a lot for the Sixers because – they weren't getting where they wanted to go with Harden and Embiid. I think they might have to start over, maybe start the process back over. I don't know. We'll see where it goes. Philadelphia fans will be horrified by that notion. This is Sam Rudofsky signing off of the NBA on TNT. Again, this was Ben Goldman, Jack Waterstreet. Sam Rudofsky, see you later.